Hey everyone, it's Adam. Welcome to another video and this will be slightly different. Today, we're going to talk about keyboards and I have my assistant here, my son, and we're going to talk about keyboards. Hi. Alright, so I've been on a kind of a, like a buying spree for keyboards, but in reality, I've actually been using keyboards for many, many years. I got my start using the Apple II, then I went over to a Mac SE, and then I got a PowerBook One. 80. Now I've been using lots of keyboards all the time, but lately I've been experimenting with tons of other mechanical keyboards. But first, let's talk about the keyboards that I was using prior to getting on this mechanical keyboard spree. So hand me this Logitech keyboard. Here. So this Logitech keyboard is the, which one is this? This is the Easy Switch Keyboard K811. This is actually a pretty good keyboard. You can see here I've used you know, this ABS plastic is very shiny, which shows you that I've used this keyboard this, quite heavily. This letter, why, why are they like this? Because these keyboards have laser etched uh, letters, but over time as you use it, you, your finger kind of erases the etching, okay? And it becomes all shiny because the plastic used in these keycaps is called ABS plastic. Now I'm going to show you some other keycaps that are using a different uh, production method called PBT, which do not come up with all shiny and stuff over time. Now, the reason why I like this keyboard over, say, the Apple Magic Keyboard here is for one particular reason. Now, this keyboard is actually pretty good. It's very light, and you'll see it's much lighter than some of these other keyboards that we have here. And the keys actually, you know, they feel pretty good, but there's one downside to that. Can I guess? What the is arrow, that, son? The arrow keys. Exactly. The arrow keys are not the inverted T arrow keys that I like in this keyboard here, as you can see. They're like, two of them are like small, but then these two are big. So when I move my hand down, because I touch type, it's hard for me to feel where the arrow keys are, and I frequently miss hit. Now, the iPad's magic keyboard over here fixes that by having the inverted T arrow keys, okay? Now the downside to this keyboard, which is pretty good too, is it costs a lot of money. Do you remember how much this cost? Uh, no. $349. And this keyboard only works with a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. So if you have the 11 inch, or a 10 inch, or a 9 inch, or a different inch, the keyboard won't work. But it's a good keyboard. Uh, only especially for use with this one. Now, like I said, I've been buying a lot of Mac mechanical keyboards. And the first one I got was the Keychron K1. It came out when it was on a Kickstarter and their claim to fame was like, this is a low profile mechanical switch for Mac users. Look, it's got command key, option key. It doesn't have like the Windows Alt key and the Windows key. Um, it's made for Macs. And so I like, I jumped onto this. Now, and it's got RGB lights, which is obviously cool and stuff. Mm -hmm. And clicky, clicky blue keys. Listen to this clickiness. Now, <laughs> Keychron has come a long way since the K1 because fortunately this keyboard not so good. One, I'm not a fan of the clicky blue switches. Two, some of these switches kind of like broke over time. Listen to this one. Where's the click? And I think you were using this with your laptop for school, right? Doesn't work. Yeah, some of the keys just stopped working. I don't think, like, I think the W is, doesn't work. Yeah, W, lots of keys don't work. But Keychron improved and they kept at it. Then I got the K6. What is this? That's that one over there. As you can see, I've modded it to spell my name, Tao. Okay? Kind of cool with blank keycaps and kind of like translucent keycaps. Yeah, pretty cool. This is cool. This is the K6, plastic. I did not get the aluminum sides. Fortunately, I made another mistake in my foray into mechanical keyboards. I bought the optical switches and not the, not the hot swappable switches. And so these switches sound like this. And the problem with these keys is that they're kind of scratchy. You can't replace them. Well, you can replace them, but it's very hard to find the LK optical switches these days. I don't think Keychron makes them anymore or they're, the supplies are all gone. So I can't even replace it. So nowadays I just use this keyboard as an ornament that says my name. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. 
Okay. Finally, not yet. Finally, I got the Keychron Q1V2. Now, this keyboard is the one that I have right here. Okay? It's all aluminum, very heavy, and I've modded it extensively. And we're going to get into the mods later. But just listen to this keyboard. I'm going to put it down right here. I'm going to transition over to this. Just listen to this keyboard here. Now, people have a term for this type of sound. What is this sound called? Focky. Focky. Man, that is a great sounding keyboard. In fact, we're going to have another video later where we're going to mod my son's keyboard to make it more focky. But let's get on with the rest of the demonstration. The next keyboard we have here is the K6 Pro. Not to be confused with the K6 over there with the Tau lights, K6 Pro. They've improved, Keychron has improved this by a variety of things. First, this one's hot swappable. There's little more layers for like sound dampening and things like that. And it also supports the K series, the K Pro series supports QMK and VIA or VIA, which is software that you can use to configure the key configuration. So I can change these buttons to do pretty much anything I want to. Now, these keys, mechanical keyboards can have a variety of what they call switches, okay? Switches are the things in the key that make it go click, 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 okay? Now, these keys uh, are silent tactile, so take a, a listen to this. Pretty quiet here. The only thing that's a little loud is the space bar. But maybe we'll do something later and mod this to make it more quiet. Now, let's go, go on to the next keyboard. This is a beast of a keyboard. This is Keychron's Q10. Now, disclaimer, I bought all these keyboards myself. I'm not sponsored by Keychron at all. This is the Keychron Q10. Alice style layout, so we kind of got this little split um, angled layout. Um, and it has uh, Gatoron Pro Milky Yellow Keys. Um, mm -hmm. And so let's take a listen to this this keyboard here. Switch over here like this. Not bad. Not bad, but I think I might be able to mod this to sound even better. I haven't made the mods that I made on the Q1 yet. This is an actually interesting keyboard. Um, I like it. It's not bad, and it has a little knob that I can use to control my volume. So, the last keyboard that we're going to talk about is whose keyboard here? Mine. Your keyboard. Now, what's special about this keyboard? This is the Keychron V1. It's a keyboard? It's a keyboard, but the keycaps look rather interesting. What's, what's, what's the design behind this? Uh, um, Minecraft. Minecraft, okay. So we got what, the overworld here? This is grass, dirt, stone. Grass, dirt, and stone. So when you're mining, you have to go deep to get to the stone, mm -hmm. okay? Now, what kind of switches are you using in this? Uh, reds. Gatoron Pro, Pro reds. reds. In fact, I took these Pro Reds from which keyboard? And from I, from the Alice, from the Q10. When he bought Milky's and put them in this, yeah, you right. can see Milky right here. Milky Yellows, which are, let's find my Milky Yellows. Is it this one? Yeah, it's that. This one right here, Milky Yellows. Listen to this. And here is a red. The reds are a little easier to press, which are good for his small little hands here. But I like the slightly heavier nature of the milky yellows. Okay. okay. Want a sound test? This one? Oh, yeah. We have to do a Wait, sound test I of do yours. It? Sure. Since it's technically mine. Of course you can. Let me switch the camera. Okay. We're going to do a sound test of his keyboard. Not modded yet. We're going to do a video where we're going to mod his keyboard, make it more thocky. Okay. I will say his space bar sounds really good. Listen to the space bar. But I think we can make it sound even better. Oh, 
Alright. Alright, so those are all the keyboards that I'm currently using right now. Which one is your favorite? Actually, Please. technically there's one more. There's one more keyboard? Right here. Oh, right. Let's take a look at this keyboard. Let's unplug this here. This is an, definitely a, an artifact. This is the original iPad keyboard. Here's the, actually an original iPad, okay? And you basically plug it into the little dock connector here, and it becomes uh, a keyboard for the iPad. And what's interesting about this keyboard is that it has um, not only a row of kind of like iPad specific function buttons, there's no function button command button here. It just has command, option, and control, and an inverted T arrow cluster. So uh, I sometimes like to just type on this keyboard. It's like a little typewriter. It's actually kind of nice. Feels really good too. All right, let me put that back over there. Oh, you did one more. That's right, one more. So, thank you to my assistant for giving me the keyboard, and I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Again, as I was saying before, which keyboard is your favorite? Drop a comment down below, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We'll be back in another video where we're going to make this keyboard sound more thocky. So instead of sounding like this, we're going to make it sound more like this. That would be nice. All right, say bye-bye. Bye. See you later.